this, this is a beast. A massive beast. Hello. So, there is no 13. 13, where is that? Constantine. <laughs> so. oh, yeah, this is what we got to eat. So in about an hour we'll be in Kiev. Out of the train. And this is how it looks. So you have here the local people who are trying to sell food and things. That's what they have. You know, sweet souvenirs. So we're really far, far away now. This is, ah, oil. So this is the Russian oil we don't take anymore. Too bad. For us. Yeah, so another tip what I want to give you is that while you're still at home, make a printout of the schedule of the train from your starting station to the end station and all the times in between. You can choose either local time or Moscow time, whatever. But it turns out that once you're here in the middle of nowhere, you have no idea where you are. You have no idea where it stops if you don't have this. So here you can see my little cabin. So, um, yeah. Seem that I have it on my own, which is good. And uh, it's now 10 o'clock. Okay, another tip for the Trans Siberia Express. Because I want to show you this. This coupe, the entire coupe, has just one outlet. Only there. One outlet. So, if you have multiple devices and you want to charge that, um, I strongly recommend you get one of these, right? So this has four outlets, for example. So you do your phone and your other stuff and your mouse and God knows what. Um, so yeah, think about that. if they are until what time they're open but we'll see Bring your own food, you don't have to starve. The nice lady, she even brought me an extra bun, 
So you can also eat on the train. So we are in Tianmen, Tianmen, Tianmen. So if you want to buy some food or souvenirs, it's possible here. just passed uh, Omsk and uh, we're now really entering Siberia if we're not already there. So Siberia is this uh, kind of mysterious land where they used to uh, send people who are disagreeing with certain things at least that's what I learned at school. So this is how Siberia looks. This is it. This have I not taken to Moscow, gelukkig. Siberia. So I'm sitting here in the uh, in the restaurant car. And just ordered beer here. I'm gonna enjoy my beer and I ordered a ordered a Porsche to have uh, to have dinner on the car. So it's best possible. Yeah. Have a good one. So we are in uh, Novosibirsk. This is, uh, it's cold and uh, dark, it's one o'clock at night and uh, we have a 45 minute stop here. <laughs> so is it. <laughs> Sorry, no Russian. <laughs> What's your name? Michelle. Tatiana. 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 Michelle. Okay. It's I think uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know. But I am so sick of this train. I can't believe it that I do this. I am really I'm out of my mind. Stop this. Stop the train. Stop. So, on the Trans-Siberia Express here, you will see that this, this is the central point in your coupe. Because this is the hot water boiler. Um, what's happening here is that here you could have coffee, tea, you can make instant noodles, all these things. So this is a central point in the train. See that the landscape has changed so we see now little mountains and it is uh, beautiful it is really really pretty but it is so empty it's just all but nothingness
So we are in Tsirenyshevsk, uh, Sabaykalsk. So we're here in a little shop where the lady is uh, making uh, making a, a bread for me. Let's have a look here. Ah. Okay. Here is also in 30 years nothing changed. Ah, uh, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Now, she has a bread warm. lekker. Doei. That's it. That's how it works. Being the Trans Siberia Express. So this is uh, Belogorsk. It is uh, eight thirty in the morning, and we have the longest stop on the Trans Siberia uh, Express. It's a stop of fifty minutes. Oh. De drankafdeling is verboden terrein, blijkbaar. Van 11 tot 21, nou zie ik het. Dat is jammer. Zo, dit nemen we mee. Chippies, twee broodjes en zo'n nootjes. Bye. 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 Nou, dit was de supermarkt. En nu gaan we terug naar het station. Gaan we terug naar de trein. De trein niet wegrijdt zonder mij, want dat zou niet leuk zijn. Eh, gelukkig, de trein is er nog. Dat is een big Russian engine. En dan. De trein is een beetje shorter dan uh, when we left in Moskou. Maar wat is still on here is the. Uh, I think this is personnel, probably. Or cargo, I guess. So here's some mystery signs. I think on the left it says don't step on the train. And on the right it says, what does it say? Um, don't do mechanical work on the train yourself. Leave that to others. Or something. <laughs> we go? We go? Okay. Spasiva. <laughs> So we go back to uh, my little four square meter hotel room and it's here. Oh, I need to get the key because, yeah, super. Okay, thank you, Spasiba. So good morning from my uh, tiny house. It's uh, seven o'clock. I just made uh, made my morning coffee, my morning ritual. Doing a little bit of work. Uh, I have uh, two hours to go to Vladivostok. Never there. It's uh, morning sunrise. Not yet. So we're here. 
Ну, вот так. Окей. Это все. Владивосток. Спасибо. Спасибо. Спасибо, Татьяна. Хорошо. Отдохнуть. Окей. I go. Bye. Thank, thank you. I go flying back to Moscow. Fly, plane. Yeah. Okay. Спасибо. Ждем еще раз. Yeah, okay. Спасибо. Или же самолетом. Okay, спасибо. Bye. 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 Bye.